everybody it's Michelle and you may remember a winter project that I did just recently with pom-poms that I made with my pom-pom makers here and I put those together and made a pom-pom snowman well on that video one of my viewers commented and suggested doing a bunny with the pom-poms so I was so happy to be able to do that thanks for that suggestion keep them coming I love to hear everyone's ideas and suggestions and I can't wait to show you guys the bunny that I've come up with so I eliminated this one here I'm using the largest and then the next to largest for my bunny and then I skipped the next size down and I'm using the smallest one for my bunny's fluffy tail so I've already made my pom-poms and if you guys don't know how to do that with the pom-pom makers I have a tutorial on that as well and I'll leave a link in the i cards in the corner for you guys to be able to watch that and see so I made brown pom-poms and we're going to be doing a little brown bunny I thought that would be adorable for Easter and then I made a white fluffy tail of course and I used sort of some specialty yarns this is a fuzzy sort of variegated tan color that I used for my bunny and then I used this really fuzzy one here for the bunny's tail but I did use just regular yarn in matching colors to tie those off and you can see my strings are still attached here and I just thought the regular yarn was a little stronger for tying off so get your pom-poms ready and leave your strings and then we're ready to put our bunny together okay so I'm gonna tie my two pom-poms together to create my bunny so I'm just gonna pull those together and then tie a knot and then a double knot or a surgeon's knot, whatever you prefer to call it. Okay, so we could have it standing up like I did my snowman or laying down from the side view. Either way you wanna do yours, just decide before you attach the tail. And I believe I will just glue that one on when we get to the end. That's up to you as well, however you want to do it. I've got a few more things here. I've got just some of the little craft pom-poms from the children's craft aisle at Walmart. And it's just a couple of half-inch black pom-poms for the eyes and then a little pink one for his nose. And we're going to use some hemp cord for his little whiskers. And then I've got some ears here cut out of felt and I cut those from this sheet of felt here I thought that matched really well with the yarn I was using and this is just a sheet that I got at Joann's and I'll try to include links to as much of these products for you guys as I can and then the pink inner part was just from this ribbon here from Walmart it was a little too sparkly on this side so I'm using the back side to be the inner part of my bunny's ears you can see I've got that flipped around there and I just cut my shape right out of that. You can turn it around and have the really glittery side if you want to. So I just kind of sketched out a design here for the rabbit's ears and just cut that out of the paper, laid it onto my felt or onto my ribbon and cut around that. You can even pin it on there while you cut if you want to so that you don't lose your place. And I'm also going to go ahead and sketch that out into a document that I can put over on the blog as a free printable. So I'll have a link to the blog post in the description as well so you guys can print that off if you want to just go ahead and use my sketch. So we're ready to start putting together our bunny. And I'm going to use some of this hemp cord for his whiskers. And I use this same little trick here that I'm going to show you today for my whiskers on my 
Easter Bunny napkin folding. So I'll leave a link in the cards to that as well if you guys want to go and see how I did that. But I'm going to go ahead and show you again here today. So I'm just going to make a bow. And I'm going to tie that bow with really long loops. So then when you get your bow made, you just clip the ends and you cut the end of the loop as well. And that makes it really easy to get your three whiskers knotted in the center. And I think it works out really well. So then once you've got them trimmed the way you like them, you can go ahead and glue those to the back side of his nose. So I'm just going to put a little dot of glue right in the center where that knot is and then place my pink pom-pom, whoops, not that one, the pink pom-pom right on top of that glue. And I like that hemp cord. It's nice and stiff for the whiskers. But you can probably use any type of string or twine that you have. Okay, so I think I'm going to have my bunny sitting like this. I think that's really cute. So then I'll just flip that around. I'm going to put a nice thick glob so that it will sink into that yarn a little bit. And I think it's looking really cute already. So I'm going to go ahead and add the eyes. I'm just going to kind of get an idea of how I want to place them. If I want them in the front or over here on the sides. I think they're going to be really cute kind of on the sides like that. Again, I'm being very generous. Because we've got to glue down into all that fluff. And I think to set those eyes back in there a little bit helps the look of the fluff. Okay, and now for the ears, I'm just going to take some of my hot glue. And like I said, you can do that sparkly side for your bunny if you want to. But I wanted this less sparkly side to show on mine. And I'm just going to quickly kind of smear on some of that hot glue. I don't want it on thick. And I can see it a little bit. I hope that dries to where that doesn't show. Maybe I'll put it onto my felt this time. Okay, and the last thing on the bunny ears, I'm going to put a little bit of hot glue right at the very bottom and pinch that together. Same thing for the other one. And now I'm going to put hot glue pretty heavy all over that folded part with plenty of glue to make sure that it holds really well. And I'm going to cut off my strings there on the fluffy tail pom-pom. And then I'm going to put a lot, a big glob on one side of that. And 
stick that on. I'm going to hold it in pretty good so it adheres to all that yarn. How cute is that little bunny? So all you have to do is just fluff him up. This fuzzy yarn that I used kind of gives it that shaggy look, and I really like that. I think that's really cute. But a regular yarn may give it a smoother look if that's what you want. This was just some that I had in my stash. It didn't even have the label on it anymore. I'm not sure where that came from. But if you have a yarn stash, just see what you can find. I'm sure you have something that would make a beautiful bunny. And for that variegated look, if you don't have a yarn that has some lights and darks in it, you can hold two strings of yarn together as you're winding it onto your pom-pom maker. And then when you go to put that on, then you just hold both of those, pulling from both at the same time, and just wrap those together and make your pom-pom with a light and a dark or a light and a medium like that and you'll get a variegated look like that. So that's just another tip for you guys on making the pom-poms and I really hope you enjoyed this bunny. I think it's adorable. Don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel. Give me a like over on my Facebook page and be sure to join our Facebook group Crafty Minds. Also follow me on Pinterest and Instagram and don't forget to visit my blog. I'll have the links to everything in the description below, so be sure and check them out. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.